What's going on, everybody, and um, welcome back to the channel. Now, today, hey, we've got another memes episode. Um, no idea what number this is 55, 56, maybe 51, 52. Couldn't tell you. Um, but what I can tell you is that if you notice my lack of energy, I, I, I probably sound sick as well. I'm sick. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah. We didn't have a video yesterday. I've been sick for like the last week and a bit. There's been the flu going around. It's like the second version of, I can't say the word on YouTube, otherwise they like delete videos and shit. But you guys know what I'm trying to say. I've essentially got that again. Um, and it's been a rough couple, you know, five, six days of being sick. Um, and to be honest, I wasn't even going to record a video today, but I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. We're going to go through some memes. I just needed something to lift my spirits. Um, last night, I was just going to go on my phone and go through this entire Discord, like all the recent memes, just so I could, you know, have a laugh. But I was like, you know what? If I'm, if I'm going to go through it, I might as well just record a video tomorrow. Um, even though, yeah, I'm not feeling very good at all we're here the grind never stops so hey if you guys are new subscribe you want to join the discord dm me comment i'll get you in here um let's get into it <laughs> let's get into it um yeah um yeah in 11 odi slash t20 innings this month england have been all out nine times that's 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 embarrassing um and that's england <laughs> that is england right there match delayed by two hours because of luggage arrival i did hear about this um yeah i don't i don't know who was in charge of the luggage but someone was doing <laughs> someone was trying to delay the game for a reason indian and windy's players reaching st kitts for second t20 <laughs> They're kit packs. Well, like, I, I just assumed that every player had their, their kit bag, like, with them at all times. Um, I thought when they took their bags on tour, it, like, their kit bag would just stay in their hotel room, and every time it's game time, you take your cricket bag with you. But I assume when you're a bit, uh, you know, when you're getting paid some good money, you don't have to do that for yourself anymore, I guess. But then things like this can happen where someone... <laughs> They might see a cheeky little Rohit Sharma, you know, bat hanging out, and they're saying, that's mine. <laughs> that is mine. Um, can't blame them. Can't even blame them for that. If, if I saw Rohit Sharma's bat, I'd want it to. Um, got the man Adam Gilchrist. I'm not criticising the IPL, but why won't Indian players come and play in the Big Bash? I've never had an open and honest answer. Uh, Gilly, have you literally ever looked it up? Um... They're just not allowed to. The BCCI doesn't allow them. Like, that's as simple as that. Uh, first, let the Aussies themselves start playing in Big Bash completely. He's right. He's very right, the man Chinmay Marar. He's very correct. Because you look at that man, he's not even going to play this year. If he doesn't, then I can forget about David Warner. Like, I'm not even going to glide to you guys. I'm not in a great mood right now. So, I'm not. I'm not holding back right now. Um, if I wasn't sick, I might hold myself back, but I've just got no filter right now. David, if you do not play in the Big Bash this year and go play in the UAE, you can forget everything you've ever done for the country. I don't even care. Um, that, <laughs> that's a bit harsh. I'm, I'm not being serious about that, but it would be very, uh, very disappointing. You got the Sledge Master. I don't know about a Sledge Master, but... <laughs> I don't reckon the man uh, Donny ever put out one sledge ever. Except for just cr he's cricketing. Uh, most T20 international ducks. Sharma. Ro Damn, eight ducks for Rohit Sharma is crazy. For Ashish Neera had three. Yeah. Um, eight. I mean, that's a lot of times to go out without making a run. Holy shit. Um, I live by only two rules. One, I don't like to play left arm paces. Two, I don't let anyone forget rule number one. Yes, it's true. Um, yeah. Rohit Sharma, when a left arm pacer walks in. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone is... Yeah. Yes, sir. This is that Steve Smith shot. Nice. Yeah. 
Hey. Hey. Bowler with a brain? Yeah, I know. It's it's actual facts. Like, yeah. that. I mean, some of those these plays right here will never make sense to me. Like, Steve Smith literally walked across the crease before the ball was even out of his hand. Like, isn't that the craziest shit you've ever seen? That Steve Smith is literally outside. Like, he is not even on the pitch almost. And the bowler still hasn't even let go of the ball. And he bowls it straight to him over here. Yeah, I mean, like, as good as a shot, and as much as I love that shot from Steve Smith, I will never understand what the bowler was doing. <laughs> we'll never understand. Uh, best bowling figures against India in T20. Damn, 6 for 17 by the man Obed McCoy. Uh, Hasaranga, 4 for 9. Santner. The man Darren Sammy. Okay. Australian team, but only players with the letter M allowed. Ooh. Ooh. This is kind of interesting. I like this. Matthew Hayden, Matty Wade, uh, Mitchell Johnson, Mitchell Stark. Okay, hold on. Let's see. That's copyright. Oh, shh. Copyright. Ew. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. We're already off to a bad start. As much as I, you know, I like Marcus Harris as a, as a person. Not so much cricket. I, uh, I wouldn't put him there. <laughs> Matty Renshaw, I love that. Labashane, yep, facts. Mitchell Marsh at four. Yes! Yes! This just made my day. I'm not even sick anymore. <sighs> just so inspirational right here. And that's crazy because he would be the captain in this team as well. Don't forget that. Uh, Mark. Bro, who just gave this man the captaincy? We're not, we're not, we're not allowing that. Matty Wade, the keeper, obviously. Michael Neeser, facts. Mitchell Stark, yep. Mitchell Sweppy Boy. Who's another M? Matt Kuhneman, of course, the Kuhneman. Hey, shout out to uh, who made these? A B Cricket Short. Shout out to him. Um, I love that he included Moses on rigs. That is just so inspirational. This is so nice right there. And that's the captain in my eyes. Uh, there is still one of the biggest mysteries in cricketing world. Yeah, whose hand is that? Is this is this Agarwal at the back? It doesn't really look like Agarwal. So you got Bumra, Pandya, who looks like the, the coolest guy ever. Uh, Dhoni, who looks like everyone's dad here, <laughs> making sure everyone's doing the right thing. And then you've got Rishab. Someone's touching him. I mean, it's got to be Agarwal who has his hand on him, right? Because we don't see anything from the man Mayang. It's got to be him. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, yeah. But then again, wouldn't we see his arm, like, at least here? Yeah, I don't know. Something's a bit fishy. Something's very fishy. So maybe some good Photoshop. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, myth versus reality. Myth. Go, get this off my screen. Uh, myth. KL Rahul is an IPL bully. That's a myth. Facts. Reality. T20 average, 40, and then strike rate of 142. True. That's true. Six away test centuries. True. Myth. Baba only scores against Minows. I mean, hey, you can take that however you like. Um... Reality, average against... Yeah, I know what this stands for. This sounds for like... Yeah. Uh, England, Australia, and New Zealand, and like South Africa and stuff, right? Uh, average is 46. It's not bad. It's my type of average. 54 in ODI cricket, and then 46 in T20. When was the last time Bubba Azam was on Australian soil? I don't even remember. It would have been in that test series like in 2019, I think. Uh, hold on a minute. What'd that just say? Oh, I got something in my fucking eye. It's just not my day. <laughs> Myth. Anderson only performs at home. Has anyone ever said that, though? Like, I I've never said that. Um, average by country, 29 in India is very good. 20 in the UAE and 24 in the Windies. Okay. Okay. 238 away wickets. That's facts. I mean, Jimmy Anderson, the greatest... Pace bowler of all time. I mean, as much as I hate to say that, he's got the most wickets. 
from any pacemen of all time. You, <laughs> but you cannot argue against it. So, hey, uh, to be fair, I have never thought he was a bad seamer, like, outside of England. Um, the two sides of a coin. Uh... Yeah, I mean, technically, this, this, we don't, we, like, let's be freaking real for a second. No one counts this, this, this title. No one thinks this is a real title. Like, bro, England did not win this shit. It was a draw. And whether it wasn't a draw or not, I don't care. I'm not giving any credit to them. Because we all watched what happened in this World Cup. We all seen what happened. Look, did they have the best team? Maybe. Did they deserve to win? Hell no. I'm going to be honest. No, they didn't. That's what I mean. To a coin. Yeah. Yeah, rough. See, and that's... That's always the thing about... Yeah. And uh, Well, now that we're talking about this World Cup here... Actually, I just want to go back into it. This World Cup... And it did have a lot of people... You know, about if you, you know, chose to bat or bowl first. But you, you want to talk about the toss in the T20 World Cup in the UAE. Obviously, Australia won, so I'm happy. But, I mean, that World Cup was literally win the toss and you win the game. So, um, it, it does happen in a lot of cricket games. I don't know a way to work around it. Maybe, maybe what you can do is let the, you know, the visiting team choose if they want to bat or bowl first. But then again, maybe that's a bit unfair. I don't know, but... I think there's, they're going to have to do something in the future because if we play more cricket series in the UAE or something like that, we cannot just let games be decided by a coin toss. Um, are you goated? If you've seen... Bro, if you've seen 25... Wait, 15 out of 20 of these matches, you're covered. Goated. I'm sick, guys. Come on. Let me... I can't read. I mean, we've seen that. We've seen that. We've seen that. Seen that. Seen that, obviously. We've seen that. We've seen that. Seen that. Of course I've seen that. I've seen that. I've s Ooh, a few of these I haven't seen. I I've seen that. I've seen that. I have seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that. Hey, I got all of them right. That's very inspirational. Um, nah, there, look, there was a few in there that I hadn't seen before. A few of the... Um, there was an IPL one which I hadn't seen. No, this was during the, the Al Classico, so I know what those are about, but... I think there was one in here. Maybe it's this one. But that was last year's top. I can't remember. I can't remember. I do not have the brain capacity right now to even, like, think. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, ugh, I'm not feeling great. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't mean to complain a lot, but where are we? Uh, Men's Asia Cup. I did see uh, the schedule. India versus Pakistan. Yeah, nice. Uh, we're ready for that. We are absolutely ready. When's it start? Uh, 27th of August. So I will be doing videos uh, during this. I'll obviously review the big games and stuff like that. So don't worry. If you guys need some content for the Asia Cup, I will be here. Don't you worry. Um, Indians, we need King back in form. Okay. <laughs> the man Brandon King. Damn. That's not the King they were talking about. Uh, they were talking about uh, Murali VJ. Uh, Virat Kohli would be amazing to adventure with. A true heart of a lion and kind spirit. Hey, shout out to the man Bear Grylls. Um, on being asked who he would like to have on his show. Hey, I'd watch that. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Hey, shout out to the great man himself, Bear Grylls. Um, I didn't even know that he still made episodes. So there you go. That's pretty cool. List of winners of Asia Cup. Yeah, I think I went through something like this the other day. Um, it's only been won by three countries, which is insane. <sighs> yeah, the man DK. Hey, now on Twitter the other day, firstly, if you don't follow me on Twitter, it should be like in the top right or the top left of my screen. If it's not, then go follow me on Twitter, Clarky23. We are always talking sports on there, everything. And I had a debate the other day. Well, not a debate, you know, just one of them regular Twitter conversations where people were asking, do you pick Dinesh Kartik for the T20 World Cup this year? And I said he would be my first person picked. Now, look, you might pick Boomer before him. You might pick Rohit Sharma be before him. You might pick Rishabh Pant before him. But Dinesh Kartik has to be in the team. 
I mean, 29 matches, strike rate of 165, high score of 66 for someone who's batting at number 7, um, 28 innings, 538 runs, and an average of 41. He's doing modern-day MS Dhoni stuff. Um, and, and I can tell you guys right now, if this was MS Dhoni doing this three years ago, he's getting picked in the team every single day. But the, the second that it's not MS Dhoni and it's Dinesh Kartik, everyone starts thinking, should we pick him or not? Mate, if any cricketer in the world was doing this, they would be getting picked. Um, so I, I don't want to see anyone say he should not be in there. I don't care if you have to find a way to, to bat him at eight. If you have to, he just has to be in the team. Um, bat him at six. Like, if you have to pick one less all-rounder or you pick one less spinner or seam bowler or something, whatever, pick the man. For goodness sake, if they do not pick him, I will throw up. Uh, India and Pakistan will face each other. Yep, we're going to get excited for this. So, obviously, it will be in Dubai. Um... The same venue where they... Okay, so this is... Hey, it's going to be big. It's going to be exciting. Hopefully, the pitches provide a little bit more than they did last time. Um, because they were not so friendly to watch. Uh, most matches as captain in Asia Cup history. The Mandoni, uh, Ranatunga, Jay Awardne, Mishbar Ul-Huk. Ganguly, obviously. Okay. Okay, we just went through the schedule. Um... So the final is going to be played 11th of September. And all of these games start at 18 GST. What on earth time is that? No idea. No idea. So my, oh, for the love of everything, please. I, I don't know what time these games are going to be at. But I don't know what time they will be here in Australia. But for the love of everything, please be at a reasonable time. Holy moly. I cannot watch any more cricket at 2.30 until at least the IPL because it takes a lot out of you. Um, Zimbabwe win T20 International Series. Yes, I did see this. Hey, now this is so inspirational. Um, the host defeated Bangladesh by 10 runs in the series. Decider to win the series by 2-1. Woo! Hey, shout out to my fellow Zimbabweans. Um, shout out to Andy Flower. Um, look, this is this is a good start, but if you, it, I, I know they're looking for something a bit extra. I'm here. I'm available. I might have to quarantine for a few days first, but get me in. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to bring back Zimbabwe to the promised land. I'm telling you right now, revival of Zimbabwe. My word. Umran Mon. Yo. <laughs> Bro, I don't know how people make these, but, like, I've been seeing these on Facebook and shit of, like, cricketers and athletes since I was, like, 10 years old. <laughs> I would never understand the full meme behind, like, this. <laughs> it's the funniest shit ever. Oh, man. Uh, Bangladesh fans, Bangladesh <laughs> Hey, shout out to Zimbabwe. So inspirational. Um... Ryan Burl, one over, 34 runs. Ew. That's, yeah, that's not on. Um, I think he plays for Zimbabwe as well. So you're telling me Zimbabwe picked this guy over me? Wait, did he do this with the bat or the ball? Oh, shit, I shouldn't have said anything before I knew. So wait, did he, go, did he bowl an over for 34 or did he hit 34 and an over? Either way, I don't care. Get me in. Um, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready, Zimbabwe. I've, I'm ready. That's all you got to know. Um, wait, hold on. Go back. I think I missed it. Oh, you're an idiot. What are you doing? Was that Bravo? Wait, who is that? Oh, it's, it's um, Mayers, Kyle Mayers. What the heck, bro? You have got to have some mental just... Pro like, something's going on in that moment. He was not thinking about cricket. He was thinking about what he was going to have for lunch. Like, performances for India in this test match. 146 and 57 in second yeah, innings. Facts. 
Jet Good hit. Whoa, shit. The volume went up. Is this the fifth test? Oh, we're talking about the, um, the, the, was this in the th fourth test match? Yay. Nice. Hey, very inspirational from the man Virat, if you ask me. So, uh, yep. I don't know how much I can show of this stuff just because I, I genuinely think it's copyright. So, yeah, no, that is definitely copyright. That's the uh, the underarm delivery right there, I can only assume. Yeah, I, <laughs> I wish I could show that, but I don't even know if I can show this, to be honest, because, like... Right, hold on, I'll show it in small... What the heck? Is that the man, um... Oh, shit, what's his name? What's his... Ah, uh, shit. Uh, Shafiq? Abdul Shafiq? Is that him? Shaf bro. Bro, is he got nothing on? Bro, he's, he's Willie's hanging <laughs> Um, I showed this one before. I might have to cover that out now that I'm thinking about it because... Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to colour that out. That is definitely copyright. The, I've done this before and uploaded that on my old channel and they've literally like banned me for just using like a three... Se it's ridiculous. I don't know. If I, if I remember to edit that out, we'll see. But <laughs> we'll see what happens. Same energy. Damn, is this a real photo? Nah, this is not a real photo. Bro, you've just robbed New Zealand of a World Cup title and you whip out your, your phone to take a quick selfie with the man Trent Bolt. Bro, that is next level taunting. <laughs> Bro, nah, I am throwing hands with that umpire right there. Best bowling figures um, in India. Oh, no, against India. Ajaz Patel, obviously. Morally, 7 for 3. So, Obed McCoy has officially got that record now. Wow. Okay. My type of delivery. Ah, uh, bowling right there. How I sleep knowing Sky plays for my country. Hey, I would sleep like that too. Um, I know he did have that great 74 in, in the last T20, but... Look, I was way too sick the other day to, to even think about recording a review. I was... Yeah, not, not in any space to record a, a review to that game. So, apologies, but, you know, sometimes I think it's best just to have a rest instead of, you know, me sitting in front of the camera and looking like absolute garbage and, and, and talking like shit. Kid hecklers are next level? I heckled Steve Waugh. Shit. Sorry, what? So, 1996 World Cup, India was playing Australia in Bombay and Steve Waugh standing there. And I'm like waiting like a good boy in line to get my autograph signed. Yeah. He takes my autograph book to sign it. And I'm like, uh, good luck for the game tomorrow, Mr. War. And thank he's you. He's like, wow, what a sweet kid. Yeah. Man. He's like, oh, thank you, man. And I take my autograph book and I'm like, yeah, because you're going to need it. Yo! That, that's low key cringe, but low key not funny. But low key is funny. I wonder how old he was when he said that. Because if, if he, you know, said that to Steve War, like, well, actually, no, Steve Waugh hasn't Game played for about 20 Wall, years, so don't worry. So he would have been a little kid, don't worry. That's all right. <laughs> I was thinking if he was a grown man saying that, then, <laughs> then then you've got to think about what you're doing. But if you're a little kid, we'll let that slide. Um, no ducks in T20 internationals. David Miller has 88 T20 innings and has made a run every single time. Nah, that is different. That is different. For someone who bats, you know, has batted up the order for a long time, for like, you know, bats in the four or five, to not go out once for zero is ridiculous. Marlon Samuels, like, yeah, shout out to the man Marlon Samuels. Uh, Dinesh Chandimol, 61. Faf, 50 freaking times. That must have been pretty early in his career as well. For an opener to do that 50 times is disgustingly good. Um, and then we've got this dude over here from the Netherlands. So, um, you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> you got the man, um, what's his name? Pad, uh, yeah. Yeah, he bowls some extreme pace. That's all I can say. 
Um, hey, if I'm going into an Ashes campaign tomorrow, I want this man by my side. This guy? Not so much. Not so much. Um, hey, and uh, speaking of this man, he did nominate for the Big Bash draft. So, look, I, I, I hope he gets picked up. I hope uh, he's playing for the Sydney Sixers next year. and Well, this year, sorry. And he can uh, lead us to another title. That'd be inspirational. Uh, yep. <laughs> Um, which brand did you use when you were young and why? Ooh, we got these beautiful old kookaburra bats here. These are like the old, um, kahuna. I think, I think this is a kahuna. I think this is the one that, uh, Labashane uses now. But, hey, when I, let me know in the comments what brand you guys used when you were younger. Um, I mean, normally when I, like, bought, you know, pads and, like, a helmet and, and stuff, it was always just different brands. Like, it was just whatever I could afford when I was younger. But I always stuck to the one bat brand. And if you know what Matthew Wade has used his whole career, you will know. Well, to be fair, he's used about two different brands. He used um, he used a lot of, like, Puma, New Balance sort of... Like, I don't even know. Let me look this shit up. Because I had... Every time Matthew Wade got a new bat, I went and bought a new bat. That was my favorite player, like... Um, when I was when I was younger, hold on, Matty Wade, um, bat. Yeah. So yeah, so he has you like, yeah. Because once he got older into his career, he started using New Balance a lot more, which I was never into that. But when I was younger, it was he used these like old Puma bats, which were just so sexy. They had these logos on them. They always like changed colors every year for a different bat. And Matty Wade would always get the new Puma bat. So every like three years, I would save up my money for a new bat um, and then get the new Matthew Wade bat. It was always, that's what I always did. Um, and then I tried to switch to like getting a Steve Smith um, New Balance ones. They're way too expensive. David Warner Kahuna uh, bat. Oh no, no, what were they called? The uh, shit, the... He used to have that old bat and it used to be called like the... The Power 360 or some shit like that. I think it might have been Kahuna actually as well, but yeah. My 12-year-old bat watching me buy another wall of tape. Bro. Hey, that that bat tape is literally the strongest shit ever made. Five slips and the gully. Woof. That's what you want. Beautiful stuff. Looks like this is played in England as well, so. Um, yeah, no surprise. You bro. You know you are bowling some genuine heat when you have the keeper once, like five slips in a gully. You've got a, a man in close as well. You've got a guy in close here as well. No one's on the boundary. <laughs> You've got six fucking slips. Um, hashtag bring back Chris Gale. Yeah, hey, we know what happened in this, uh, this particular incident. <laughs> Oh, man, I still remember watching this shit live on my television. Like, when was this? 20... No idea. I can't even remember. But I remember watching this live and this being the biggest news story, like, in Australia for days. Like, <laughs> bring back the man Chris Gale. Um, yeah, I, I agree. England? Hold on, i got to turn this shit up. Hold on. Hold on, let me turn that up. I can't really hear it. No, oh, we are number one. No, no. Even though, like, I wonder what overseas players have given the most to the IPL. Someone let me know right now what what country you think has given the most impact to the IPL. I want to say the West Indies, right? Like, Narayan, Bravo, Pollard, um, Dre Russ... Narayan, I think I said him. Um, yeah, there's a lot of new West Indian players coming through as well who are Shimron Hetmeyer for one. I mean, the the goat Odin Smith is coming through, so probably be the West Indies, wouldn't it? All right, very good to meet you. Facts, love that. Yeah, I can't show that. Um, I, know, I know exactly what that is though. Uh, Damn! Oh, so it was this guy who did it with the bat, not the ball. Um, yeah, time to get the... Yeah, fact. Shout out to Puma. Get the team Zimbabwe some sponsors. Is this a joke? 
Like I didn't slave my bum off for this country for 10 years. Me and the GOAT, Andy Flower, just to let this team have to glue their shoes back together? No, no, no. Me and Andy did not do all that work for nothing. Come on. Me and Andy, come on. Uh, players who... Well, it's a good thing we can't watch it then. Um, it's another copyright one. That's good that we can't watch that one. Um, yes, and the man Surakami Yadav is coming close to that number one position. We know... Hey, just, hey, just, just quietly. Just quietly. We'd love to see it. We, we would love to see the man Sky go to number one. Very inspirational, I hope. How the fuck Sky play this shot? Yeah, I don't know. He's uh, he's he, he's uh, he's going pretty well right now, isn't he? The man Deepak Chaha, six for seven. Uh, Obed McCoy now gets himself on there, and look at the legend Yuzi Chahal against England as well, six for twenty-five in twenty seventeen. Okay, it's the man right there. Yeah, look at the man. I mean, Sky. What is there? Two more T20s left. He's got plenty of time. Uh, Rowett fans, please sack Ayer. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, Rowett with Ayer. Oh, yeah. yeah, true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Um, look, to be honest, I don't really understand what the selectors are doing when Samson is sitting on the bench. Uh, Ishan Kishan, like. Get, like, I don't know what the selectors do sometimes. I don't know why, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I'm just kind of running through these last ones because I am feeling uh, sick. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's going to get to him. <laughs> these people are stupid. Well, yeah, I mean, some people just see the rankings and then they assume that, oh, they must be better. Like, no, rankings, yes, it means a lot, but rankings also doesn't mean, like, everything. Like, I mean, the man Shakib al Hassan has been one of the best all-rounders for the last decade. Doesn't mean that he's better than Jadeja or Ben Stokes, you know? Like, uh, a random left-arm pacer. <laughs> the Indian pack. Come on. Okay, well, respectfully, I can't read all that right now. But I do know how the rankings work. So if you do not know, I recommend looking it up. Um, did you know whenever India and Pakistan have faced each other, Pakistan have always won the game when India... Wait. Whenever India and Pakistan have faced each other, Pakistan have always won the game when India lost. Huh? Am I reading this right, or am I just... That that makes sense to you guys, doesn't it? If Pakistan win, then that means India lose. Okay, <laughs> we're moving on. All right, that's we've got a good fact for the rest of the day. Um, first T20 is in Mahali. Hey, hey, this is cool. 20th of September as well. Uh, Mahali, Nagpur, and Hyderabad. Okay. We got the last thing in here. We got the man uh, Kartik Kartik Singh, Kartikya Singh. Okay, I uh, met my family and mum after nine years and three months. Oh, it, oh, is this the guy who said that he was going to not come back home until he like did really well at the Ranji Trophy? I, I think I'm thinking of the wrong person, maybe, but I think this might be him. A uh, nine years, ma'am. Bro, hey, very inspirational, very wholesome, very beautiful. Um, nine, bro, imagine going without your like your mum for nine years. Um, yeah, I mean, my mum holds my world my world together, so I couldn't imagine being away from your mother for nine years. Just outrageous. Um, but hey, let's leave it on this. I'm actually excited for this. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed. Apologies if my energy was down. Um, if the video, you know, didn't seem as, as funny or good, I'm just just battling the uh, the old sicknesses at the moment. But hey, I hope everyone enjoyed. I'll see everyone in the next one.